Hello everyone, it's FoxyFan here, and today we're doing something different. We're doing a theory on the Roblox game Nightmare in the Sewers. Of course, these will be split into many theory videos. Well, not many, but a little bit more vi videos, maybe like three. So this is how you know I'm going all out on this. Oh yeah, I just want to say that only 2% of people watching my videos are subscribed. Jesus Christ, guys. So it would mean a lot to me if you click the subscribe button and put on the notifications. That way you can help this channel out. And to like this video, because I worked hard on these, okay? Also, I just want to say that this game was probably posted maybe like two years ago, or two years ago, or last year. So I'm kind of late to the party, but I haven't seen that much theory videos on the game. So, I mean, might as well be the first one to do so. If it had been, and it's also been two years since the last game came out, maybe. Who knows? Who knows if we'll get a second one. But anyways, uh, yeah. With all this being said, let's just begin this. Alright, so Nightmare in the Sewers is a game made by Rat United. A group that basically likes rats, I guess. It was, it's not popular anymore, I think, but you know. I guess it's kind of cool. And the game is about you, the player, working in an office in the sewers. Yuck, why would anybody work down there? Who knows what could be down there? Rats could be down there, definitely. Anyways, in night one, you are introduced to the phone guy who's there to comfort you he, while you're doing this job. Which is, well, he probably does a bad job with it. But he does a bad job with it anyways, but it doesn't matter. While, taking, while talking with the phone guy, Phone guy welcomes you to the sewers where you are among the rats and says that there is no information about the rats. Welcome to the sewers. Here you live amongst the rats. There is no information stating the origin of these creatures. They also don't know the names of the rats, but we do. If you go to the Nightmares in the Sewers RP, it shows the characters' names. The chef rat is called Gordon Ratsy. Oh, <laughs> I get it. It's not very funny. The crowned rat is Powie. The cubed fanged rat is called Kruggy. The one with the hair is called Joji. And the tiny one is Peon? Peon? It has a weird name. The guard starts to say that the rats are passive. Well, I mean, I don't know about all of that now. The phone guy also mentions that the rats like, ro like to roam around the sewers and that if the rats see you, they will think of you as food. That would pretty much be the end of night one because pretty much there's nothing new going on in night one besides just the phone calls. So I'm just gonna talk about the phone calls more than the actual gameplay. So yeah. Anyways, and then night two comes and Phone Guy says that the rats can get more active and that they will move around more as the week moves on. I won't talk long as the rats tend to get more irritable and roam around more as the week progresses. As the night goes on, we start to know a bit about what to do during the night and what to do with Joji and Powie. Nothing much in night two, but night three, it, it, it's, it, it's a different story. On night three, Phone Guy states that this night will get real. And he also states that the rats are starting to do some weird things and he feels like they're trying to tell him something. However, Phone Guy brushes it, brushes it off saying that he might be going a little bit crazy. Hey, listen. Between you and me, I've been seeing some weird things these past few days. It's almost like the rats are trying to tell me something. I don't really know. I might just be going a little crazy. Hmm. What could they be trying to tell the phone guy? Because let's be honest here. The people at the job seem to think that the rats are fine taking out the fact that, I mean, I don't know, that they could walk on two legs and that they are tall. Weird, isn't it? I mean, why would they even have the rats here? If they knew that there was mutant rats here, shouldn't they have just ran off or something like that? Or done something else, like take them out? I don't know. It, it's weird. It's pretty weird, you know? Well, anyways, night four comes around, and... Well, things are getting a bit weird with Phone Guy. He says that he's gotten in, in a bit of trouble with the rats, and that he won't be able to record another message for us. He also says that the corporation dislikes to work their... their that is being put in the establishment and who could and really who could blame them for thinking that the phone guy also says that the rats are becoming more human like and that they're literally speaking to him about their past and then phone guy says that he understands what he must do and then backwards text start to happen 
Reversing it gives you eradicate the corporation. Eradicate the corporation. If you're dumb and you don't know what eradicate means, it means to destroy or put an end to something. Then night five is just normal, nothing new. Now, because of that, we get some, we ask some questions that the game has made us question. And that is, why are the rats acting human-like? What were the rats past? What happened to phone guy? Why do they want to eradicate the corporation? And there's a little bit more going on. A little bit more questions but i feel like these are the primary questions and well i can actually answer some of the questions a little bit so the first question why are the rats acting human-like well as we look at the rats eyes they seem to all have red eyes why is that well have you ever heard of mad scientists if you don't know what mad scientists are they're people who are what google calls them insane ha- scientists who owing to a comp combination of unusual or unsettling character traits and in tv shows they have been shown to do these weird experiments that would harm or make something alive and they would do other things like mutation now am i saying that the rats are mutated human rats that were made by mad scientists yeah that's what that's what i'm saying these rats are mutants that were mutated with people put by put up against their will This would explain why the rats were trying to speak to the phone guy about their past. That's also probably the reason why they are trying to get to your office. Not because they want to eat you, but because they they are trying to warn you about the evil corporation you're working for. And the red eyes aren't just there because design choice. No, in shows when something gets mutated, everything changes about their features, including their eyes. Now, what happened to Phone Guy? Well, he was captured by the rats, and the rats told him their past, and at his vulnerable state, they were able to control him, so now he's on their side. Now, I'm not sure how they, how they did it. That will be for the next video, but that would explain why the Phone Guy didn't have a recording message for, for you on Night 5. Because of because at that time he would have already been cr- controlled by the rats. So there we have it. Some answers were mostly completed. However, he we still have a bit more. So in the next episode, we will answer the unanswered questions and probably do the events that happened before and before, after, and now. But with all that being said, I will see you all in the next video, and we'll complete the answers to the Roblox game.